Somalia's president says the prime minister is suspected of corruption and is now suspended. Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed accuses Mohamed Robel of stealing land owned by the army. The prime minister says the move is an indirect coup. I would like to clarify to the Somali people that the government in this transitional phase is responsible for leading the country and running the affairs of various state institutions. So the armed forces should take orders from the government and the prime minister's office. Anyone who disagrees with this will have to present it to the judiciary. It's the latest round in a long-running dispute between the two leaders. They first clashed in April when the president unilaterally extended his four-year term by two years. That prompted army factions loyal to each man to seize rival positions in Mogadishu. The president's constitutional mandate expired in February and um, he stayed on and tried a, a very similar power grab in April this year, which led to fighting in the streets of Mogadishu and, and uh, would have uh, probably concluded in his overthrow if a deal hadn't been negotiated to produce uh, elections for parliament and president uh, by the end of this year. The US embassy in Somalia has urged de-escalation from both sides. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera correspondent Omar Mahmoud Ali has more on the political crisis from Mogadishu. What's happening here is related to the president's decision to freeze the prime minister's powers on the pretext that he failed in overseeing the electoral process besides some corruption allegations. And it's what the prime minister denied. The prime minister described the president's decision as non-constitutional vowing to continue his duties as usual, stressing that the president doesn't have the power to sack him or freeze his powers, due to the fact that his term has come to an end and that he, as the prime minister, is the only one who has been mandated by the Somalis and the international community to oversee the election and the peaceful transition that's supposed to follow it. Then the election of a new president. Anyways, the situation in Somalia is very tense until the moment there are no efforts exerted by political factions, the international community, to bridge the gaps and reach a final agreement between the Somalis, especially between the president, whose term came to an end in February 2021, and the prime minister, who has been mandated by the international community and the political factions to supervise the forthcoming election. Let's get analysis from Abidwali Garaj, who's an expert on Somali politics at the University of Birmingham. Thanks for speaking to us on Al Jazeera. So how do you read uh, this development and how significant is it for the country? Uh, in fact, it's um, a, a setback. Um, um, it has been going on. Um, Somali issue is very dynamic and every day there's new developments. Um, given that um, the, prime Minister, the, the president has no uh, constitutional powers to sack. The only person who can sack the prime minister is the parla parliament and, and on, on a majority vote. However, and the president is the co custodian of the constitution and the guard of the fundamental principles of, of the country. And the prime minister has been accused of um, stealing a land from um, Somali naval, uh, naval force and uh, and obstruction of law and on top of that he has been accused that uh, the mandate of implementing the, uh, the, the, the election has lapsed which was in um, 2020 2021 and the president and the prime minister both of them are calling for national uh, reconciliation uh, right. We know the we know line, about the accusations, but let me. I mean, just on the, the point of of the president sacking the prime minister, is Sudan now facing a constitutional crisis? Because as you're saying, the president technically doesn't have the constitutional authority to sack the prime minister. Uh, there is a constitutional crisis. The president, on the on the one way, and uh, he is the 
custodian of the, of the constitution and and a, and a guard of national principles. So if the land or, or the property of the government has been stolen or required for for that to be dealt with, president has a power on that, and it's that it has been stipulated in Article 87 of the constitution. But sacking the prime minister, and also so the, and in that regard, the design needs to be reviewed, and that, that is where the problem lies, and that is where um, always um, the, there is a constitutional issue. Okay, so However, by ordering the, the uh, uh, forgive me, but but the the prime minister has now ordered all security forces to take orders directly from him. Does this potentially now deepen the crisis even more? I, 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 th I think that is the word of the month. Uh, that 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 that, uh, that uh, um, do not have any 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 any, any practical uh, implementation, because the president is a joint chief of his staff, and asking um, the, the the security forces to take orders from the prime minister, that ha has no grounds, and 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 that that just and and. Uh, and uh, it's a bluff and, and, and from the outset. OK, put but this into what, context for us. When it comes to the fragile peace process in the country, uh, what are the reper repercussions right now on that? And of course, on um, on what's described as militant groups, is this going to embolden their position and put the country at further risk? I think it's a, the, uh, 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 the, the, the ball is in, in the hands of um, federal member states and, and Villa Somalia um, to sit down again and and, and 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 map out the way out and 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 to to to, to implement the uh, the election, the upcoming election, which has lapsed, which was in um, 2020 but lapsed now, and and to make the country wait forward. Okay, thank you so much, Abedwali Garad, for speaking to us uh, from Birmingham. We appreciate your time. Thank you.